メイプルストーリーこんにちは、僕はショーンボブです。Hey guys, it's Sean Bob back with a new episode in our free to play series. I decided to go back to the shorter episodes because I'm pretty much back into the game again and I've been working on video editing much more consistently. Hopefully, going back to the weekly to fortnightly episode schedule. The 2S cash shop drop being removed sucks for my project, but oh wells, what can I do? I'm still going to go ahead with the project since I've already invested into it, but it won't be as great as planned. Anyways, without any further ado, let's begin the episode. Oh, yeah, these footages I probably won't show anymore on camera, but、um, basically, I'm just buying a lot of these Ascending Familiars because I've been raising epic familiars on my Night Lords because I don't want to pay like 30 mil. I'm uncomfortable paying that. So, I'm just going to be stocking up on these and I'm just getting a few training sessions in. On my Night Lords, where I'm just simultaneously trying to just level up my familiars. Ah,、oh, actually, that's the main purpose. I'm just trying to level up those familiars, really,、uh, rather than actually training. So, yeah,、um, I'm probably not going to be showing this on camera after this, as I just said. You know, if anyone's just asking how I got all those epic familiars later on, I'll probably just refer them back to this moment right here. So, I guess if you're not too aware, basically, I'm just,、um, I just bought the rare Ascending familiars, like these ones,、um, a while ago. And you need a hundred of these, these common ones, to tier it up to epic、uh, after you get these guys up to level five, which requires quite a bit of grinding. So I think, like, on average, I'd say around 15 minutes of、um, grinding on wild totems to get them maxed out from level one. So,、um, yeah. So I'll probably just store these on, like, another character. And then, yeah, later on, I can just pull these out and fuse them with what I have on my Night Lords. Oh, but don't worry.、Um, later on, when I do fuse, I will show that on camera.、Um, so I'll quickly recap how I got these again.、Oh, I'll just do a quick demonstration while I just you know, explained it just then. So these guys are level 5, and I've already filled these guys up. So you know, the first condition is that these familiars at rare have to be at level 5. So these are ineligible for、um, ranking up. But for something like this, where it's level 5, okay, so this is like what you'll get after you train these guys up to level 5 and you haven't done anything. So you want to just put these in and then、um, you want to fuse them with one of the ones that you want to fuse with. And then you're basically sacrificing、um, the common familiars to rank one of them up, basically. So once you get to that, once it's level 100, see, you have that rank up option. But the thing is, if you try and do this with any familiars that's not level 5, you won't see that rank up option because they need to be level 5 before you can rank them up.、Um, so, yeah, just, you just repeat this process over and over.、Uh, unfortunately, there's not much space in this familiar slots, which is a bit annoying. You know, I really wish was, we got a bit more slots, but we only have 100 for most of these. And then once you get that, I think there's an 80% chance that the rank up succeeds. Okay. So, I'm just going to spam this.、Uh... Oh, see? I failed. And in the case that it fails,、uh, you lose half of the familiar, so you have to fill it up again with half of them. Alright, so I have 12 of these guys.、Um, so, yeah, I guess we can just go get around to just、um, revealing these. So, what I do is we go to the info page and then just click that, I guess.、Um, yeah, so I'm just looking for the increase item drop by a large amount line. Because、uh, I'm pretty sure this item drop line is really rare. <laughs> it's pretty hard to get it. But if I can get it. Oh, oh! <laughs> Lucky last. Holy crap. Okay. Done. <laughs> Easy. We got our increased item drop by a large amount. And、um, this is basically a 2x buff. Oh my gosh, that's insane. I've got 20% ignored defense and this increased item drop by a large amount. Okay, so with this increased item drop by a large amount,、um, I have 0% item drop right now. So, if I turn on my familiars, what you'll see is that this goes up to 100%. So, it's essentially a free 2x drop buff. <laughs> this easy. Alright, so that's F1P army done. So, I just need to do this six more times on my other Night Lords. Ah, very good. 550 mil. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have like no measures now. Literally 15 mil on my guy here. But with that, I have my third and final pet. Nice. Little Mutal. Ah. Alright, and equip the pet.、Uh, equip, where is it? Yep, here it is. Ah! Oh, wait, where is it? Oh my gosh! 
My little babies. Oh my gosh. So cute. <laughs> oh, you know. Normally, I don't like aesthetics too much, but... Oh, these guys are so cute. Little Muto. Dude, Little Muto is like my favorite here. Every, like, all of them are pretty cute, but this one's like... It's like a mini giant. So cute. Okay, back to cubing. Let's go. I have quite a few Meister cubes, so... Let's try and go for, you know, something a bit better than that. Mmm, 30% dex. I have three cubes left, um, and they expire in four days. Maybe I'll just keep this for now. I don't want to lose that, to be honest. Let's just keep it. Wait a second. Holy crap! I saw the Spectrum Goggles. This is the two lines of Mezzo Drop. Um, Spectrum Goggles are rolled with the cube of qualities. I sold it for 20 bill. I take that. <laughs> oh crap, I lost 1 bill in tax. That's cooked. Um, but basically, if you just look at the marker right now, you can see that two lines of Mezzos is generally around... I'd say around, um, it's like low, the low 10 bill mark, like 10 to 15 bill. Yeah, like, um, you know, there's this I sold for 20 bill, there's this for 13, 13, 25. All oh, right, okay, yeah, understandable. Yeah, so like, as you can tell, like, it's all like between like 10 to 15 generally. I don't know what happened here, but this one sold for 20 bill. But yeah, um, I just listed it for 20 bill as well. Because I wasn't thinking that anyone would buy it, but also like, you know, I would be happy getting 20 bill if someone actually bought it. And with that 20 bill, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking out for two lines of item drop in the market. Um, as you can see, it's, you know, it's slightly over 15 bill. It's like 15 to 20 bill, I think. But I'm going to be looking around to see like stuff like this, you know, where we have two lines of item drop and it's a tradable drop gear. Or even, you know, or even these. These are all sweet sales. Um, they sold two weeks ago. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have the mezzos to uh, transact in these. But yeah, stuff like this. These kind of opportunities I'll be looking for. So I'm effectively just flipping my two lines of mezzo um, spectrum goggles into two lines of item drop quips. For me, it's completely worth it. But yeah, that's probably what I'll be working on for the next few weeks. So today was the first day of Maplehood Watch, and with this, it was the day where we get the Miracle Circulators and p Socks. So two per character. I did this on seven characters, as you can see I have heaps. So I did this on my Corsair and six other Night Lord mules. So what I wanted out of this was actually the Miracle Circulators themselves, because I want to reset my Night Lord's um, inabilities to get item drop on some lines there. Uh, but yeah, I got some free p Socks, so I thought I could just try and use stuff with this might as well right because i have free p socks just the thing with these is that i'm not going to be using p socks on items that need to be flamed more because we're getting a lot of karma flames these days and you know if we p sock an item it's no longer untradeable which means you can't actually apply the karma flames on it so it's kind of just going to undo that so i'm going to just basically try and do it on all my accessories that i think i could just trade you know like later on or equips that I think I won't touch in terms of flaming. So yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, so I have all my equips here. So I have um, 14 items here to be P-Socked. I have like 15, 16 of these P-Socks. So yeah, I might as well just P-Sock these. I'll show you the equips one at a time. So this is my Blackgate mask, which was my Mezzo, uh, Mezzo gear. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not going to be dealing with this for a while anyways. Next up is my solid gold ring, which is, you know, just standard, just Golux equip that I have to be P-socked. Next is the reinforced Golux ring as well. Um, yeah, same thing. Same thing with the superior Golux ring. Nothing like particularly fancy here. Um, earring. Oh, actually. Hmm, I might actually throw some flames on this guy, but... Uh, I mean, I could just put in my inventory, like, put in my storage and just take it out if I, I'm going to use Karma Eternal Flames on it. That's okay. Um, yeah, I'll just, because I think I have spare p socks anyways, so I might as well just p sock everything I can. Um, same thing with the Pendant, I might reflame this, but I just have so many uh, p socks that I just can use it, because I can kind of thing. Alright, Belt, probably won't uh, reflame this for a while. Okay, so my Absubs are 
pretty good. So this one is like at 115 flame score, so I probably won't touch that for a while. Similar thing with the uh, CRAs. So this one has like 114 flame score, so it's pretty good. Um, shoes, this has like 110 flame score, also pretty good. Um, shoulder, yep, of course I won't ever flame that. Yeah, 115 flame score on this guy as well. Gloves, you know, yeah, it's like 120 around there, somewhere around there. And finally, these pants. So this has around like 103, so that's alright. Cool, so I have all my equips like um, p socked so I guess, you know, that could save me some hassle in the future. Like, I guess I don't really have much use for the p socks in the first place, but, you know, just having the tradeability condition is not too bad as well. More importantly, I have these Miracle Circulators for my Night Lords. Uh, I don't really have that many. It's like, what, I have like 14. But I'm hoping that I get like, at least one item drop line on these guys. You know, it'll be nice if I can. Uh, buff duration, oh my gosh. Come on, item drop. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I might actually pick up some of these extreme growth potions for my um, Demon Avenger. So I'll just pick up five of these for now. Cool. So I have five extreme growth potions. Yep. So hopefully I'll get two levels from one of these at least. I do have 20% chance. <laughs> one. Uh, I have a 15% chance. Okay. I have a 10% chance. Okay. And 5% chance. <laughs> And lucky last, this one. Alright, level 200. And with the growth potion selector, so this was from the previous event. Um, I'm going to get the 8 levels for this guy. Because I want to put this guy to 210. Okay, so let's claim that. And, yep. It's the fastest leveling of my life. Okay, so it's level 208, and I remember we got compensations for, I don't even remember what we got our compensations for, but uh, we got a gift, yeah, so pick it on barrel. Okay, but I think we also got some levels there, level stuff. Um, wait, oh, jokes? Oh, we don't get it, huh. Eh, yeah, I could just pick up two of these, and then I'll just give it to my Demon Avenger, and it's now gonna be level 210, too easy. Okay, last two levels, 209, and finally, 210. Okay, so with that, I have the level 3 link skill for Demon Avenger, which is 15% damage. Alright, so I just did my first, um, well, first five Burger Bliss Bananas. So this is like the normal punch machine event that we have every, like, major event, but this time we have to do it on five characters, so I did it on my Kana, so that was number one. Um, yeah, 1193. Um, Sean Bob, which is my Corsair, uh, 1,109, and my three Night Lords here. So yeah, um, this wasn't too bad. I think this is a total of like, what, 4,000? And I think the max was like 4,500 anyways. So this isn't too bad, I guess. I think I do want to work on nodes for my Night Lords as well. So after that, I guess I'll be getting some more points, but um, that's alright for now, I guess. So that's my first week of the Banan... Bonanza, Bonanza, Bonanza. Yes, so it's my first week of the Bonanza. Okay, cubing time. Still need to get some more decks on this guy. So let's do that. Wow, holy crap, got nothing. <laughs> um, I also have that red cube from Fairy Bro, so I'm just going to use it here. Let's just try and get some decks back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woohoo! Sold this guy. Uh, so I'm on 19.5 bill now. And what I saw was this. Holy crap. What? No stones are 800k now. 
Oh my gosh, this would be a really cost-efficient way of increasing my damage on my Night Lords. So I'm actually buy quite a bit of this. Uh, I want to buy 2,000 of these. <laughs> Holy crap. They're so cheap. Oh, should I just buy more? Yeah, yeah actually, no, I'm going to buy 2,000. They're so cheap right now. Alright, so I'm on like almost 18 bill now. But that's okay, because um, I'm going to use these nerd stones up for my Night Lords to actually increase their damage a bit more because this is going to be such a cost efficient way of increasing my damage, so worth it. Let's have a look at how many cubes we got today. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine masters, and one, two, three, four meisters. Yeah, that's around average. So earlier today, I just bought like heaps of these familiars, um, and I'm going to be transferring ten of them over to F2P army, so that I can try and. Get some epic familiars for the item drop line. We're ready. Let's go. Please give me some item drop. I don't want to deal with this. Uh, no. Oh no. No. Oh, what is the Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, I got it. <laughs> Let's see what else we get. Um, invincible. What is steel? <laughs> <gasps> Holy crap, 30% boss, this is super rare, I remember opening a thousand familiars on my main and I couldn't get this, 30% boss, holy crap, that's insane, alright, I guess I know what I'm gonna keep on this guy. I uh, straight up forgot that this was actually a line that you can get on Epic Potential. Ah, uh, my pets have expired, so I'm gonna pick up two of these Water of Lives. I'm gonna revive my little wonkies. I have two little wonkies that are currently dead, so I need to revive these. Yep. And. Yep. Cool. Because, um, the reason why I wanted to revive these is because they both have these accessories where I can actually scroll them whereas you know black heart pets you know they just have this equip but um, the wonky pet equips have 10 slots okay so I'm just now going to get rid of these black hearts thank you for your service and reunite my wonkies and with that I can also get that auto um, buff <laughs> as well that's very nice and look at them aren't they so cute <laughs> Look at these midgets. So remember the other day I bought 2,000 of these node stones? Well, I'm going to crack 500 open on each of my Night Lords. So these 522 here are actually just from me getting that on my Kana while just doing my dailies on my Arcane River um, dailies. So these aren't part of the 2,000 I bought. So if you just hold down the key, you can just spam through them. So yeah, I'll just get around to that. All right, I just finished. That didn't take too long. Um, whoa, as you can see, it's a lot of nodes. So the important ones I want to pick out are going to be the Shurikane. So let's just chuck in all the nodes into that. Um, this, oh, there's only one, okay. I've already like upgraded. So I opened a hundred of the node stones. So that's why they already have some EXP in them. Uh, HS. HS is going to be like the skill that I'm going to max first for sure. Extra, extra drop. <laughs> Need that. Um, and the other skill that I really want is the throwing star barrage, because that increases the duration of the skill whenever um, it's higher. Oh yeah, and um, yeah, and what I found was that you can just disassemble all of these like automatically, like that easy. <laughs> So it saves the ones that you locked and it disenchants everything else. And with the node shards I have, I'm just going to craft as many of the holy symbols. Uh, I might just... Wait, how many do they cost? 
I might buy 20 of these. 20 of these, and I might buy some of the, um, the Throwing Star Barrage. Alright, perfect. Um, yeah, and I'm going to be doing this on all my Night Lords, but I won't be showing them on camera because, you know, I don't want to... I feel like it would be too boring if I just keep showing this over and over, right? But, yeah, I guess um, the only thing you guys really need to know is my priority is Holy, Holy Symbol and then um, the Throwing Star Barrage. Just because Holy Symbol, you get extra drop. Throwing Star Barrage, you're able to boss a bit longer. <laughs> and they all make a difference as well, that duration. That's a big like buff because each level adds one second so like level one to level 16 is already adding 15 seconds of burst like that's quite insane all right today's maplehood watch day um the gachapon day so i have 15 of these and i'm going to be going on heaps of different characters to claim these so you'll see me just like do this like heaps of times today probably going to do it on like eight characters I okay, just need to make some space in my inventory before I start though. Boom. This is what they call Attack on Titans. <laughs> eh, got nothing. <laughs> nope. Oh. Nope. Uh, okay, another Wealth Acquisition Potion. Oh, I got a Fafni Angelic Shooter. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, Wells. I have a lot of these Maplewood Watch. <laughs> cash hole quiffs to open so let's just get down to cracking and open let's just skip to when i open these all up all right i opened them all um as you can see <laughs> have a lot of duplicates so yeah let's start mixing and matching these clothes to see what my fashion for 2022 will look like Ooh, do i want the monkey no i don't oh, oh. wait i just found it all right, introducing Sean Bob 2022. The story of this guy is, I'm the son of the fried chicken god, and I love going out to catch some fish with my friends, which is why I like my casual clothing. I love the color pink because I don't distinguish between male and female. Hmm, very good story. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Whenever I jump, there's like fish, like, I'm like in a sea. I'm just like splashing in water. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I'm always grumpy looking because I have no friends. And that's it for this episode. Thank you all for watching and hope you enjoyed. As mentioned, I'm trying to go back to the weekly to fortnightly episodes, so hopefully I can stick to that schedule. I'll try my best. Anyways, if you enjoyed this episode, please consider giving it a like. And if you want to follow me in my adventure, please subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you guys soon. Thanks!